Oh, well, hi there, friend. My name's Tim. This is a high performance vehicle, and you're watching Renovation Nation. <laughs> You know, I've heard it said that oil is the lifeblood of a vehicle. So that means when you're changing the oil in your car, truck, or minivan, it's like you're doing open heart surgery. No pressure, right? <laughs> but seriously, this is very important, so pay attention. First of all, let's talk oils. You know, not all oils are created equal. Some are essential, some are non-essential. Personally, I prefer peppermint with just a hint of lavender. But when it comes down to it, oil is oil. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is get the hood of your car out. If you just, well, well if your car is anything like mine, it doesn't open right away and you're going to need a crowbar. Now to determine whether or not you need an oil change, the first thing you need to do is unhinge your dippy flange and pull out this long metal sword. Now take a look at the color of the oil at the end of the dippy flange. The color you don't want to see is maroon and if you see maroon 5, it's definitely time for a change. Then take a little taste just to make sure. <laughs> yep, that tastes like a burnt Oreo. We're going to have to do a full transfusion. Once you've determined that you need to change your oil, it's time to locate the para-oscillating odometer pipe, or as I like to call it, the poop. The poop is located directly down the Florida Georgia line between the semi-echo lever and the Chamber of Secrets. Now, you need to find out if your poop is hydroplaning. If it is, you're running the risk of overheating your flux capacitor, which could lead to a full metal jacket. And trust me, that would be devastating to your transmission. Now, to prevent overheating, you're going to want to torque your L5 basket gasket with a Slim Shady. Just be sure it's a real Slim Shady and not one of those fake ones. And keep in mind that sometimes your L5 basket gasket can slip a disc and end up severing your tricarbon aloe vera tube. I'm sorry to say, if this were to happen, it would result in a full constipation and you'd have to see a professional. Now, as long as your tricarbon aloe vera tube is connected to your para-oscillating odometer pipe, then you're all ready to change out that nasty oil. Just remember, you still need a man pan, three slim gems, and a fluctuating bilateral defibrillator, and you're all ready to go. I hope that cleared things up. Just remember, the oil is the blood, and you're the heart surgeon. After that, just use your instincts, and everything will be okay. We'll see you next time on Renovation Nation. Hey there, thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. You're still here, so why not stay a while? Go ahead and drop a like and click that red button so you can enjoy some fresh new Northview students content every single week. You don't wanna miss a thing. We promise that you're gonna be challenged, encouraged, and most importantly, inspired. So what are you waiting on, fam? Join us.